Before we can calculate the ion's average velocity, it turns out that we will first need to calculate its displacement. And we can find the displacement of the ion by following this equation listed here. Basically what we're going to do is find the difference in the x-coordinates, the difference in the y-coordinates, and the difference in the z-coordinates. Perhaps to keep things organized, we can come back up to the original vectors and we can label them. So the initial vector is given here. So this would be your x1, your y1, and your z1. And then the final vector is given here. So this, this value right there is your x2, the 8 is your y2, and the negative 2 is your z2. So now we can find the displacement rather easily, again, by obeying this equation. So we'll take our x2 and subtract x1. So we're going to have negative 2 minus 5, and this will be in the i hat direction, plus y2, which is 8, minus y1, which is negative 6. So be careful there. You're going to end up adding 8 and 6. And then z2, which is negative 2, minus z1, which is positive 2. And now we'll just simplify this, and this will give us our displacement vector. So we'll have negative 7, and note that the position is measured in meters. So we can actually say negative 7 meters i hat plus 14 meters j hat plus negative 4 meters k hat. So now that we have the displacement vector, we can easily find the average velocity because average velocity is equal to the displacement vector divided by the time interval. This question notes that the time interval is 10 seconds. So basically, we're just going to take all of our displacement values and divide by 10 seconds. So we'll have negative 7 meters divided by 10 seconds. This will be in the i hat plus 14 meters divided by 10 seconds, j hat, plus negative 4 meters divided by 10 seconds, k hat. And then you just simplify these, and this will give you your average velocity vector. So here we'll have negative 0.7 meters per second, plus 1.4 meters per second in j hat, and then you're going to have negative 0.4 meters per second k hat. And this is our average velocity vector and the correct answer to the question.